Hello friends, Sarah from Sweet Scents from the Dollhouse. If you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome. Today I am doing a little bit of a collection haul um, from various different stores that I stopped at. I'm super excited because I am so ready to have this bedroom slash home office put back together. I know I've been talking about it forever and you're like, Sarah, why the hell is that taking so long? It's just I have so many other things happening right now. And I don't know about you guys, but do you remember what having a two-year-old was like? Like, trying to accomplish anything is like trying to nail jello to a fucking wall. Like, I'll be done at school and come home and think, okay, today's going to be the day. I'm going to get all of this stuff sorted and all my shit from my taxes last year put away and finish peeling the wallpaper off that wall. And then doing it with a two-year-old? Yeah. Nah. Never going to happen. But... Super excited because I, silly old me, living out in the middle of nowhere, grabbed this crappy tire. Mm, to my American friends, we have something here called Canadian Tire. It's kind of like an Auto Mart meets Walmart. It sucks. But anyways, um, I was pumped because they had these Sterilite bins with the rollies on the bottom on sale for $17.99. Got all pumped, took my flyer into Crappy Tire. It's actually called Canadian Tire. And I was like, hi, um, where are your rolly bins that are on for $17.99? They're like, man, that was last week's flyer. Huh, of course it was, of course it was. But, lucky me, the lady was standing behind me and she was like, they're on sale for $15 at Walmart right now. I'm like, yes, thank you. Because Miss Grace needs some of these for her clothes. My middle daughter never wears the same outfit twice. Not to say that she has like 5,000 outfits, but she has a bunch of really amazing staple pieces because we thrift shop. If, if you ever see her clothing collection, it, it's a lot, but it was not all of it was ever, no I'd say probably 95% of it was secondhand and yeah it's just her clothing collection everyone's got their thing right and Miss Gracie is close so she needs a rolly bin for under her bed but I also grabbed myself one because I have seen so many amazing waxies. I love it when you guys share your storage ideas with me because my wax collection is taking over my life and this is also supposed to be a home office. I'm supposed to be productive in this space but there's more wax happening than work. So I thought this would be cool for my growing bathing bark. What? My growing bathing gardens collection. So I'll show you what I have it in currently. These are all like my little samples and her shapes. I got pink kids, adorable little bunnies. I love these, those beautiful daisies. Like they look gorgeous on the website, don't get me wrong, but you have to see them in person to really really appreciate the beauty behind this vendor like these sand dollars just gorgeous 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 stuff what else do i have in here she makes the cutest things these little candy apples so this bin used to house my entire bathing gardens collection not anymore so this is what my tart or sorry my clams are in and I originally bought these when I was doing events for Scentsy and they served their purpose it was about this time last year I did a chalk painting video where I showed you how you could create affordable shelving units for events and trade shows for Scentsy consultants it's great don't get me wrong but just for the general storage of my wax this is so dang heavy. The wooden crate on its own is heavy. Then add the weight of all those clamshells. It's too heavy. 
Plus, now that I'm at the stage where I'm about to put a second layer on top, it's useless. As you'll be able to see with my bathing gardens, here we go. But I put the scent notes on the top of the clam. That way I can go through them and read the scent notes. I also date them. Not that one. Either on the back like this or some of them are dated right along here with the scent notes. I also have some that are dated down the side. The date's kind of irrelevant. If I like the scent, I'll pick it out and look for the date secondary. So I was hoping that we could maybe empty these out and kind of do the same thing, but stack them in here like this. So I can still see the scent notes. Do you know what I mean, Jelly Bean? So, super excited about that. Also, this will slide underneath an existing storage unit that I have in that closet. So, it's not going to take up additional space. It's going to fit underneath a pre-existing piece in there. So, I'm trying to utilize every square inch. That way I don't have to say, oh, I have to stop buying wax. I ran out of room. Uh, what else did I buy while I was at Walmart? So yeah, those two bins were at Walmart, and keep in mind that's in Canada, they were $15. My goodness, in the States, they're probably just $15 all the time. Hang tight, I'm going to switch the camera around. Before I turn the camera around, I want to quickly show you how this turned out. I'm very happy with it. It's going to be happy. But I put both my bathing gardens on this side and then my VCS on the other side. Obviously this is just temporary because by the time my uh, bathing gardens Halloween sampler and my three other VCS orders come, obviously this won't be good to, or won't be big enough for both vendors. But I think I might go back and get a couple more of these because Bathing Gardens and VCS are both kind of like wax, well, the, the vendors that take the longest for me to cure anyways. So I kind of like this idea where I'll be able to store it away and literally out of sight, out of mind because I am the absolute worst for premature melting. And, and there's no sense in that. Like, why melt amazing wax before it's cured? You might as well just, just pitch your money right out the window, right? So if I store it all nicely in here once it's dated, labeled, sent notes and everything, and then slide it underneath that huge shelving unit, out of sight, out of mind, and it will be safe from premature melting. So yeah, that is how I'm going to store my bathing gardens as well as probably my VCS from now on. Let's flip this bad boy around and I will show you the other things I hold. Just random stuff. Hang tight. In doing so, by consolidating those, I got rid of a small Sterilite, one of these medium-sized Sterilite bins. I don't know where the lid for that one is as well as emptied out one of these heavy bad mamma jammas. So super excited. Um, I'm already thinking of, ooh, what can I fill those up with? Not more wax, or at least not right now. Where else did I stop? Oh, what is this place? The Black Well for back to school shopping. I am in desperate need of practical shoes. I used to work in a tattoo studio, I used to bartend, so I have the most amazing pump collection, but I broke my spine 10 years ago, so yeah, not really practical for day-to-day -day wear. I used to wear them day-to-day, -day, don't get me wrong, 
but chasing around a two-year-old in stilettos with a broken spine, just not practical whatsoever. So I needed to get me some mom shoes for this fall. And the black well, normally, okay, so normally I thrift shop for everything. Thrift shopping for shoes, though, I am very, very, very particular. Recently, I grabbed, oh, there's going to be a pair of shoes in here that I grabbed from a consignment store, but they're brand new, like they were never worn. So usually, if I grab a pair of shoes from a consignment store, they either have to be worn once or brand new. Like, when you, I don't know. I just, I have a thing about feet. No shade to anybody who does consignment shop for used shoes, but mine have to be either brand new with tags or nearly like brand spanking new. Cause I don't know, just feet are gross as well as the pressure from the weight of your body. Like everybody puts pressure on different points of their soles of their feet. So I don't even like borrowing my own daughter's shoes just because certain parts of the of the sole is worn out. Yeah, I don't like it. But anyhow, so there will be one pair in here that are brand new, but I bought them from a consignment store. So to buy brand, brand new shoes, I'm cheap. I'm like, if it's not on sale, I'm not buying them. Usually the Blackwell, we go there for the girls like adidas or vans like street shoes right i never get anything from in there but i seen these on sale and i couldn't help myself they're not name brand or i guess they're like the no name generic or whatever black well shoe shop sells what's it called dlg look how cute these are they're just pink chunky soles and super, super, super comfortable. I have mammoth, I mean mammoth feet for a girl, size nine. I hate that. But they're almost like t-shirt material on the inside. I thought that these would be really cool for the fall. Probably even more so next spring. But super nice. I also have so many dang shoes that it's very rare I wear a pair of shoes out because I change my shoes as often as I change my underwear. So I was super pumped to grab these. These were regular $70. Like I've never even heard of this kind of shoe before. I'm not paying $70 for these shoes. How crazy is that? Guess how much I bought them for. I don't know if my crappy camera will pick that up. Do you see that? $14.97. Hell yeah, I was getting those. <clears throat> the next pair I grabbed were regular $88. Look at them. Fall booty booty booties. I have tons, and I mean stupid amounts of little black boots, tall black boots, short black boots, pump black boots, no heel black boots, you name it black boots. But I don't know why I find brown boots so hard to buy. I am so particular with brown boots. As long as the shoe is black, I will buy 40 of them in various different styles, sizes, shapes, whatever. Brown boots, I'm like, ew, those are ugly, ew, I don't like this about them, ew, no, they look mature, you know, these ones were perfect, they're everything that I was looking for, plus super comfortable on the inside, because I want them to be like, every, not everyday shoes, but you know what I mean, comfy shoes that I wear with like jeans, kicking it with the kids. I have a black, or sorry, a brown leather jacket this color, you know? I wanted them to be comfy. So, fell in love with these. They were everything that I wanted, aside from they look huge when they're on my feet. Did you ever do that? Did you ever look down and go, oh, oh my word, my feet look like boats. 
I wonder if anybody notices. Who the hell cares? You got big feet. You got big feet. You know what that means? Big toes. But yeah, these are regular $88 at Blackwell, and I got them for 40 bucks. So less than half price. Not as good of a deal as the runners, but I was quite happy with that. Next place we stopped was at the Buck Store. I don't need anything from the dollar store, but I thought these were so cute. Um, my house is super like rustic, and I have it's weird. It's like a sun porch front entry where it's all windows, and then it's um like cedar lined walls and roof with all of these old. I don't even know what they are. I guess like wheel wells and stuff from like antique farming equipment so I like to keep the whole vibe out there very country very rustic and I found these adorable little resin pumpkins at the dollar store how cute is that and they've got these tin leaves on them so I grabbed a white one this brownie colored one I'm just crazy for fall like clothes decor if it could be fall 12 months out of the year oh, trees outside taking pictures of the kids just going to the park any given day in the fall is like photo opportunity amazing and then I got this one green one so today what's the date as I film this August 9th and I'm already in the mood to put these out super cute all very different like different shapes but I thought you can't go wrong for a buck plus I'm looking for all new all of my seasonal decor it doesn't suit this house without fail um, when I was married, my husband and I had this like brand new, super modern contemporary home. So all of the decorations kind of reflected the theme of the house. Then my husband and I got divorced and I did this like super like macabre, goth style. It was crazy with all of my living dead dolls. I used to drive a hearse. So then I did like our house look like Halloween 365 days a year. And now I live in this like little cute original farmhouse for the area. It's very rustic. It's perfect. Farm boy floors. It's beautiful. But I don't have any like my modern contemporary fall decorations don't match this house. And even though it's only August 9th, I was seriously tempted. I was thinking in the dollar store. I think I picked up something similar to this last year need to watch my Scentsy videos and see if I had pumpkins like this. Then I'm like, hmm, well, it's, it's, it's almost, you know, it's almost September. I could dig out the fall decorations now and see if I already have these. <laughs> They're only a dollar, and even if I do have three or four of them already, I mean, you can't go wrong with these pumpkins. I could also spray paint these to match a different area of the house. Who knows? But then I looked at my phone and I'm like, Sarah, simmer down. It's not almost September. It's fucking the 9th of August. Chill. Chill with your fall decorations. But love these for a buck at the dollar store. So that's what I grabbed from there. While we're at the mall, you know me can't go to the mall without stopping at Bath and Body Works and I didn't grab any candles this time it was just strictly hand soaps because I'm in the mood for fall I grabbed afternoon apple picking in the hand soap I probably have enough of these too but I think I only have two fall ones I love that Afternoon apple picking. I don't remember seeing a candle in that scent, but it's beautiful. I grabbed pumpkin apple. Oh, I have a 
Bath and Body Works candle haul that I filmed like two weeks ago. Oh yeah, I love that one. This one's like more of like a candied apple. It's beautiful. So yeah, stay tuned for that. I've got a Bath and Body Works candle haul coming up where I bought like 12, 12 or 18 candles, something like that. Filmed it at least two weeks ago and I haven't uploaded it to my channel yet. Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte, which is one of my favorite fall Bath and Body Works scents. Oh, hell yeah. So good. And here in Canada, we don't get scent notes, unfortunately, or I would read them to you. Oh, this one has scent notes. This is Caramel Pumpkin Swirl. If you like Scentsy's Pumpkin Cinnamon Swirl, you should go and get yourself some of these. This is luscious caramel, brown sugar, and creamy vanilla. Very similar. Like almost a dead on dupe. Oh, I grabbed two marshmallow pumpkin latte. Oh, I can't get enough of this. Maybe should have gotten three. Here in Canada, their deal or their promo today was six hand soaps for 20 bucks. Grabbed coconut pumpkin latte. I'm really hoping to snag another one of those. What was it last year? Coconut snowflake? That was one of my favorite fall and winter candles last year. Ooh, that's nice. Coconut pumpkin latte. I don't remember seeing this one in a candle here in Canada either. But if they had that, I would buy it. And then the last thing I grabbed, these body products were on for $6.50 here in Canada. I grabbed the Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte and the Body 24-Hour Shea Body Cream. I grabbed Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte and the Body Spray. And the Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte Shower Gel. Hello, I'm ready for fall. Hang tight, I'm going to show you what I grabbed from the consignment store. Okay, so if you're new to my channel and you're not interested into like collection or how do you say that? Collection hauls, I guess? I don't even know what the hell this is. It's a little bit of everything hauls. Uh, one of my favorite pastimes aside from collecting wax is consignment or thrift shopping. Um, super big on leaving a smaller footprint on this planet that we know and love called Earth. So I'd say about 95% of the clothes that I buy are secondhand. One of my favorite places to shop secondhand in London, Ontario, which isn't very good shopping, is Plateaus. I would much prefer going to Toronto and thrift treasure hunting there because well, let's face it, you find a lot better treasures there. But, all the same, every once in a blue moon, I do find some goodies at my local consignment store, Plateaus. Um, these ones I grabbed a long time ago. I don't think, I don't think, because I go consignment shopping with the Gracie all the time, I forget if I showed you these in a haul because my Acer crashed and there's so many videos on there that I haven't uploaded to YouTube yet. I know I haven't shown these Michael Kors, but anyhow, I wore these to Tatum's grad. When I purchased them from Plateaus, they were brand spanking new. Like there's a little teeny tiny wear on them now, but that was from me. Like brand spanking new. Beautiful. I don't even know how much these would have been new from this store, but obviously somebody with more money than brains buys these beautiful patent leather Michael Kors and then never wears them. I'm not mad about it though because they sold them to Plateaus and now these buttes belong to me. So these were the shoes that you saw in that um, graduation or prom video. Aren't they awesome? Love these. And I could wear them with so many different things. The shit kicker is, is that the only patent leather handbag I have is Betsy Johnson. 
wearing a Betsy Johnson bag with Michael Kors shoes. Whatever. It doesn't match, but it is what it is. These ones, super pumped about. I love, like, booty style shoes. These also are brand new. These are the ones I'm not sure if I showed you in a previous haul. If you see them twice, sorry. <laughs> but how perfect are these? So I'm guessing brand new at the store. These would have been roughly, in Canada anyways, at least $100. You can tell by the soles. They have never been worn outside. I grabbed these bad boys for 12 bucks. How cute are they? Love them. Love them, love them, love them. I can't remember if I put this in a collective haul before, but they're amazing. They've got the guests, like, little back plate here, the Velcro, which is even better. Not that I drink anymore, but do you remember that? Like, going out to the bar with your girlfriends, having pre-drinks, and then having those shoes with, like, the little itty-bitty haul, and after, like, six drinks, you're like, you trying to get your shoe on. Your bitches are like, the cap's here! And you're like, yeah! I'm trying to put my shoes on! Yeah, no. Those are like drunk proof shoes. Great. Not that I ever go out or drink anymore, but all the same. So, let's see what I grabbed. These also love when I find new with tags clothes. Juicy Couture, brand new. Uh, made in the glamorous. US of A. No price tag though. I have no idea how much these were. But I paid $16 for them. And they're just like velour jogging pants-ish. They're not tapered at the bottom, but they're, well, I guess they've got a tiny bit of a bell. No, I think these are more like straight legs. They've got pockets on the back. Love them. I am so ready for cozy clothes. And usually I don't wear pants like this outside. But, and again, not that I would wear these like to the mall or anything, but I could totally go to the grocery store in these. They look comfy, but presentable, you know? It kills me when like, I know it's like a thing now is to wear like yoga pants as regular pants. You know, people wear pants, yoga pants to go, I don't know, to the mall or to the office even. It's crazy to me. I'm like, those are workout clothes, not presentable. I just, I don't know. I'm, I'm one of those people that like, there's a time and a place for certain styles of wardrobe, but Whatever. Super pumped to have these brand new Juicy Couture Velour Jogging Pants for $16. I grabbed this RW & Co. <laughs> this is so big, but I don't even care. Look how cute this is. I love it, and I love it even more that it's oversized. It's got these cute little cuffs on it with the buttons. I know it's really hard to tell. But there's a bunch of little deer and fox all over it. So cute. I think you could wear this with like a light wash denim. You could even wear it with like nice stretchy tights. And because the animals are almost like a marble or a leaf print, you could wear them with either brown taupe or black like leggings or jeggings which would be really sharp and my new brown boots because they're not ugly boots I'm super pumped about that oh how much was this one seven dollars super cute What else did I grab? Oh, these silver jeans. These are probably the most expensive thing. Oh, no, I guess they're the second most expensive. But just like light wash denim. 
holes in them. And the back pockets. I love silver. I think I think silver and mauve are probably either made by the same company or at least the same man blah, 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 manufacturer. They're one of my favorite denims aside from American Eagle, just because they're soft. I don't want stretchy, like, I don't know. I don't know, jeggings are jeggings, but I don't like the, the denim that's super stretchy. You know, back when I had a size four pant, I yeah, maybe, but now that I'm still carrying a little bit of that baby weight, I'm like, nah, nah, I just, nah. It'll look like two hippopotamus fighting in a little pillowcase. No thanks. I like real denim, and if it has to be real denim, it better be soft denim. The other thing I grabbed, oh, those jeans were 20 bucks. This top. The girls are going to hate it. I'm trying to get away from everything black. For a long time, everything in my wardrobe was dark. It was macabre. I have like t-shirts with puppies on it with like hatchets in their skull and like blood spreading everywhere. Not like real puppies, like a cartoon puppy, but his tongue is out and he looks really happy with a big knife hanging out of his head, like really dark macabre stuff. But I used to manage a tattoo studio and worked in tattooing for seven years. So we sold several different like alternative clothing brands so I wore what I sold you know what I mean but you don't really want to have this like happy smiling bloody puppy cartoon shirt when you go to your children's meet the teacher school night I'm 35 years old it's about time I dress like a grown-ass responsible adult so I've been trying to get away from the dark macabre and every time I go to a store I'm just automatically drawn to darker colors plus I'm still holding on to 21 pounds of after baby weight. Black is slimming, bitches. My girls are like, Mom, you have enough black. They weren't with me when I picked out this one. Or I know, especially Tatum. She would have been like, Mom, that's hideous. But look at the embroidery on the shoulders. Isn't that beautiful? It's got these like hippie bell sleeves. It's American Eagle, I think. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this. Yeah. American Eagle Outfitters. It's a large. How pretty is that? I don't think it's too dark. Plus, I think with the embroidered uh, roses, looks like a grown-up shirt. That one was only $10. Like, I absolutely love thrift shopping. This bad mamma jamma was $8. Tis the season, lovelies. This is my time. This is Old Navy. No, this one was five. Old Navy is super cheap at thrift stores. Well, probably because it's super cheap in the real store. But I love Old Navy's knits. They hold up. They really do. If you wash them and take care of them properly, like if you follow the washing instructions, I personally don't put anything in the dryer ever. But yeah, look at this. It's just a cardigan, but it's long and flowy. When you put it on, it feels kind of like a blanket. I think this is so nice. It's hot as balls in the dollhouse right now. But, oh, like, I'm ready. I'm ready. Bring it. Bring it. Do you see me? I'm ready. I'm ready to layer. Check that out. Perfect. Love, love, love that. And then my baby. My baby. Which will match my guest shoes. It will match my Michael Kors shoes. It won't match my brown boots. But I grabbed this badass mamma jamma. Biker jacket from Garage. It's bedtime anyways. Sorry about that. Um, but yeah, I grabbed this super cute 
garage biker jacket. It's got his little zippers. It's beautiful. It's great quality. Hardly looks worn at all. And I grabbed it for 25 bucks. Can't go wrong with that. Super happy. Actually, hmm. Come to think of it. Maybe we should do a... I guess it wouldn't be called spring cleaning at this point. Perhaps we should do a wardrobe cleaning little video. <laughs> I have certain things in my big walk-in closet that I used to wear in high school. <laughs> it would definitely be good for a laugh. Sarah's old school style. Oh yeah. Also, you guys could probably upvote or downvote some of the things that I'm holding on to. I guess because I'm like, I'm not going to have the baby weight forever. But, note to self, losing the weight at 35 is a hell of a lot harder than losing the weight at 17 and 21. So some of the stuff, I'm like, even if I lost the weight, do I really want to wear this ever again? I used to wear this bartending. I'm 35. Hmm. Perhaps that gives me an idea for a video. We could do it live and you guys could upvote or downvote some of these scandalous little rompers and dresses. <laughs> I would love your honesty, your opinion, and Tommy, Sarah, get rid of it. Pass it on to somebody who's in their 20s or just fucking burn it. It's ugly. We'll see. Definitely an idea for a mini series because I've got some gems in that closet, lovelies. Anyhow, that's it. That's my little collective haul for this evening. We have Plateaus, we had Blackwell, we have Walmart, we had the box store. I think that was it. As always, thanks so much for watching. Oh, Bath and Body Works. I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.